welcome welcome back to another video today's video is going to be a first day of school get ready with me so this year i am a sophomore in college um i go to bc which is a community college here in my city and i'm also a cheerleader so i'm wearing my cheer uniform this is our cheer uniform top for this year super cute i love it actually fits me unlike last year anyways but we're gonna start on my makeup and then we're also gonna do my hair in this video we're gonna do my everyday makeup um if you guys haven't seen the tutorial go watch it or it's not out yet so subscribe to so subscribe if you're curious to see what my everyday makeup looks like also i self tanned so i'm really tan right now which i love so very happy i love being tan anyways this is a get ready with me so today we only have one class which is in the a.m and it is currently 704 i got up at 6 30 today i made my bed did skincare rinsed my fake tan off took the dogs out um, I think that's it that I did. That's everything I've done so far. But, yeah. I'm super excited for today. It's my first day. Um, I only have class Monday to Thursdays in the mornings only. And then after this class, on Monday and Wednesdays, I'm done with school. And then on Tuesday, Thursdays, after practice, I'm done with school. So, I have early, pretty early days. And then today I also work later today from 4 to 9.30. After class, I'm going to go to the gym though to hit legs because I'm not going to miss the gym. I'm going to make it a part of my routine still while I'm in school, you know, because during the summer is when I really got into the gym. So I don't want to lose that good habit that I've created, you know. Because I actually really do enjoy going to the gym. I do feel like stronger and I feel like I'm at my best when I go to the gym, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I tinted my brows last night. So, they are a lot easier to deal with today. But I'm still filling them in just a little bit. Just in the front and like some bald parts. And I'm running out of my eyebrow pencil so I need to go buy some. That's great. Anyways, I need to go buy some. I'll probably go to Ulta or something because this is where I bought it. Oh my god, and then yesterday I went to the mall with my parents because my dad wanted to go to JCPenney. And then my mom was like, yeah, let's go. And mind you, my mom hates going shopping on the weekends, so getting her to go with us was low-key interesting. But anyways, so we went to JCPenney. And then we went to Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works. Well, we went to Bath and Body Works first because I needed a cheap little body spray that went well with the Born Dreamer because I like to, like, smell good throughout the day. So I like to have a cheap little spray that I could, like, respray throughout the day when I'm home or, like, when I'm out and about. So I went to Pink. So I went to Bath and Body Works first, and I didn't find anything that I liked because nothing was, like, really speaking to me. Nothing was, like... I don't know, nothing was just pleasing me, I guess. So then I was like, okay, whatever, like, it's fine. Like, let's just go to Pink. And then Pink, they had what I wanted, but... Or they had what I was looking at online, but I didn't end up liking it. So then we went to Victoria's Secret, because it was on the way back to our car. And that's where I found, like, the most perfect perfume ever. It's Tease cream cloud and i love it literally so obsessed with it and it smells exactly like the born dreamer so if you've been looking for like a dupe or a set to go on top of your born dreamer i recommend that and i'm talking about the born dreamer by charlie d'amelio it's one of my, it's my absolute favorite perfume i'm not really a perfume gal but this one like makes me want to start my own collection because i love it so much but it's almost empty so i think i'm gonna buy the refill honestly because like that's how good it is and that's how much i like i enjoy that scent and i feel like it just pairs perfectly with so many things it has hints of jasmine and some and pear and it's like in the fruity family which i love so it's like sweet it's like a sweet scent in a way this morning i'm literally so drained also 
I don't know if we're supposed to be wearing red lipstick, cheer shoes, and the whole shebang with our uniform of school. I'm just gonna do it just in case. But it's also, it. I live in California, so Hurricane Hillary was hitting us all day yesterday. So I don't know how practical like wearing brand new white cheer shoes is. So yeah, that should be interesting. Also, a lot of my teammates this year have 8 a.m.s. I don't have an 8 a.m. this year. I have like a later set time. I'm not gonna say what time, just for my privacy reasons. Anyways, but anyways, a lot of my teammates have like 8 a.m.s, and they're like, "Yeah, I have an 8 a.m. and like I'm gonna get out of early. I'm gonna get out of it early, or like show up late on Thursday." And I'm like, "Oh my god, like I don't. I'm like what the hell? You guys are gonna hate yourselves." So when I had an 8 a.m., I literally wanted to paint the town red. But, also, screenings this Thursday. If you don't know what screenings are, it's basically where um, they test you for every cheer and dance on the sidelines. Like, it's they pretend like it's an actual football field, and they just quiz you. And then, one judge has, like, four to five girls, so, like, they can't really pinpoint what you're doing wrong. And then afterwards, they'll tell you, like, who passed and who didn't and what you need to work on. And then, in a week from... Thursday you can rescreen. Last year I did not pass screenings until like my fourth or fifth one. I don't even remember. It was probably my third, but I over exaggerate for people. But yeah, so last year I didn't pass, which was really heartbreaking honestly. I was trying so hard, but oh well we're gonna come back bigger and better this year. <laughs> but anyways, this year I'm front row and I haven't learned any of the front row coro yet for two dances so I'm literally gonna force Kendall and Sky to teach it to me because they've always been front row since last year they're like center this year and they're both auditioning for call girls so I'm just gonna ask them like hey can you teach me front row because I'm front row this year which is really exciting for me very happy and then my kicks have gotten so much better and then um yeah my jumps have gotten a lot better as well I swear it's all the weight training I do that has made my like my jumps and kicks better. No lie. We're going light with the blush today because since I am wearing red, I don't like a super pink toned blush on me. Whew. I'm gonna blend this out and then I'll be right back because I get con I concentrate, so I'll be back in like a second or two. But I'm super excited. And I'm front row this year, which should be super fun. But I'm at the end. So, you're not really going to see me because we're literally, like, we used to be center. And now we're, like, shifted to the side of the stadium. So, I don't even know how, like, if my mom's going to be able to film me. Which is going to suck if she can't. Or if, like, there's not an angle we can at least work with, that's going to really suck. But I'm flying and basing this year, so I interchange between the two and then occasionally I'll front spot. But for the most part, I'm a flyer or a base. And I honestly love it. But this year, I'm interchanging between the two. And I'm doing really well as a base. And like everybody's so shocked anytime I can do something. They're like, oh my god, why was that smooth? Or like, oh my god, why why did I hit? It's like, I'm not weak. I based a little last year. And when I say a little, it was like one or two stunts. And that's it. That's how little it was. But at practice, I would like occasionally like throw up an extension with the flyer. But that's it. But yeah. So I've been basing and I honestly really do like it and I've been flying. This is my first official year flying, but yeah, we need to powder up my face because I feel like I look super oily, like an oil ball and I don't like that. Powder it up. Also, the settings on my camera are out of, are kind of whack. I feel like it makes me look paler than what I actually am in real life. That's a little disappointing, but it's okay. I need more blush. Also, I like to use a like neutral tone blush when I wear my uni because I just don't like how a bright pink blush looks with red. I feel like it clashes a bit too much in my personal opinion. But if you do that, please don't take me as like, oh my god, you look ugly. That's just 
my personal preference what I don't like on myself. Anyways. So now we're going to set the face. The other day, for Sports Media Day, I had set my face with hairspray. And my makeup lasted all day. So, if you're a college cheerleader and you have something all day, hairspray. But we're going to do mascara right now, so I'll be right back. So I just finished my makeup. Now we're going to move on to hair. I'm super excited to style it with the tinsel. Like, I just feel like it's going to look so cute. And this is my first time styling it with the uniform and the tinsel. So it should look super cute. But I'll be right back once I figure out what I'm going to do. So, Hey guys, so we're going to straighten my hair. I'm using the Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat um, heat protector. It's one of my favorites and it smells so good. You can get it at Target or Sally's Beauty. And then I'm using the Babylish Straightener. And it's setting 375 and we're just gonna straighten my hair but I'm gonna curl in the bottoms because I have layers and I hate how choppy it looks when I straighten my hair I'm gonna have layers so yeah we're just gonna do my hair and I'm gonna talk to you guys once we get to these top sections so a time lapse for now will do I'm back I'm doing my hair I'm not done yet. I just need this section on this side and then I'm done. It's 7.32 and I feel like I got up way too early to start getting ready because my class is until past 9. So that's great. So I feel like I'm just, I'm just going to be sitting here already for the next hour doing nothing. But that's okay because I'd rather do that. And that gives me time to like go get starbucks also today is august 21st i probably should have started with saying that anyways this is the final hair and makeup if you enjoyed this video definitely give this video a like and subscribe and if you guys want to see my first day of school vlog that will be tomorrow's video at 12 p.m but i shall see you guys tomorrow love you bye mm -hmm.